Hey everyone, I'm Matan. This week, me and Aaron sat down with a few of our friends who recently graduated high school to talk about their future career aspirations and paths. So when you were in high school, um, what what were your like future goals? Like what did you think you would do after high school? Um, going into it, like my freshman, sophomore year, um, since I'm in Atlanta, I wanted to be a veterinarian at UGA just because they have a really good um, school for that. Um, and then towards like my junior, senior year, I, um, I don't know, like, I guess, like, something just hit me, like, I, I didn't have the grades, I didn't, it was like a 3.8 to a 4.0 GPA for what I wanted to do, um, I didn't have the grades, and I saw, like, a bunch of my, actually, one of my friends getting into, um, drop shipping, and I was just asking about it, I was like, what is this, what is this, um, and he taught me everything, he did it for free, like, everything was, he was one of my best friends, so he taught me everything for free, um, and I kind of just opened up, I found Gary Vee, you know who that is, yeah. Um, I just started watching podcasts, like educating myself, reading books and stuff like that. Um, and my whole life, like my perspective just switched. Like I didn't want to go to college for like eight, ten years or whatever it is to be a vet. Um, and then come out and have like a, a wage job where I'm getting paid hour by hour. So I kind of just, I don't know, my, my, my thinking just changed. And I decided to go into like the, the e-commerce world just because it was growing. I was looking at the numbers, like everything was just growing. So was an opportunity and I jumped at it so that's that's kind of how I went about things. My kind of career path formed from doing the transcript I didn't really even know like journalism like when I first joined Hamped Up junior year I didn't even realize it was necessarily journalism right. and then once I did that's kind of how I found my passion and how I realized like I wanted the next step of school to be specifically studying journalism um, so I think in March of senior year I was um, committed to Emerson. I knew that's where I was going to go. I knew my major. So I was kind of focused on just learning as much as I can and like taking the ne next step after high school to prepare myself for really what I want to do as a career. I think like kind of my whole life I was like I want to go to school in Boston. I want to be in the city. So Emerson really seemed like the perfect fit but I think I really failed to take in a lot of other factors into consideration so I don't necessarily regret going to Emerson I think it was a great experience and I learned a lot about myself but I think like in the deciding um, where I wanted to go to school process I think I wish um, I focused a little less on like oh it's journalism and it's in the city I think like there are other factors that um, make that go into your college experience that I didn't think about so I'm at UMass Amherst I'm studying journalism and communication I'm still, I still, my career aspirations haven't changed. Um, Emerson didn't make me hate journalism or want to switch. It just made me find a different school that had kind of a um, wider range of academic opportunities. So now I'm taking a bunch of other classes and kind of learning all that goes into what I want to do. Um, and I'm still on the path to hopefully be a documentary sports journalist. E-commerce, basically selling online, anything in the e-commerce world, it's not only like drop shipping, but e-commerce, like SMA is a part of that, like it's just everything in the digital world, I would say, that's just my opinion. Um, everything that you can do like online, um, like for example, what I do, selling stuff online, drop shipping, um, where I, I get stuff for wholesale and I just flip it, I sell it for a profit, that's what I do, that's drop shipping. It's low budget, you only have to have, get, it's like less than a thousand dollars to start up. A highly scalable business um, and then if you want to get into branding of course you would order like something in bulk and then go that way mm -hmm. so my starting process I kind of had like a mentor like I said my friend um, but I did I did it through Shopify I, I just had to set up a store you have like a free trial um, and then you go about doing product research so it's kind of picking like a niche you want to sell in so I did like electronics like I was, I was kind of tech guy back then um, so I, I was selling electronics and I was working out pretty good and basically what I did was I set up a website, um, imported a product to that website that I didn't have to touch, um, and just started running Facebook ads, paid traffic to get my sales. Um, the first few weeks I was dry, but then once I started learning and, and testing things for myself, um, things started picking up. And I think on that store I did thirty thousand dollars in sales in a month. So that's that's where that was at. And then of course the products in drop shipping they'll they'll get saturated um, or they'll die out. So you just switch products. Uh, that was my senior year. So right before, a few months before I was about to graduate. Um, I actually had filled out college applications and stuff, but I changed my mind and I kind of wanted to go through the entrepreneur route. Um, so yeah, it was senior year at the end of senior year. 
skills. So I kind of learned going to college that I really want to focus on long stories and um, type of stories that go beyond just like trade deadlines and stuff like that. Like I want to actually tell every aspect that goes into a game, a team, a player, a sport. Um, so I'm hoping that my taking classes in like psychology, taking um, different even like gen eds at UMass go into like the kind type of stories I want to tell. I'm very passionate about being a female in the sports industry so I definitely want to continue advocating for our equality um, on every basis of this. Um, I will admit I did not feel like I was necessarily ready to go to college um, in August. I was definitely nervous about a lot of things and kind of my most I would say like my most frequent phrase of like the summer was like I just wanted one more year of high school like I want to go back like I just felt like um I wasn't kind of ready for that next chapter in my life I feel like that was kind of the first time that I felt like oh these next four years aren't permanent I don't have to do them all in a row I don't have to do them all at one place and I don't have to do them in a set amount of time and even though now I that is my choice and I want to try to finish in four years or three I still think that um, taking a gap year and taking time off or doing some type of different thing than just heading straight to college is completely... Basically, that store ended up dying out, but um, I've gained like a ton of knowledge. I've started a few other stores. Um, I've actually done, I think, around 30K on my last store, too. Um, I, was, I kept the same store, and I just rebranded it, so I took the product out, and I just put a different one in there just so I wouldn't have to build a whole new online like website, store, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually sold those those AirPods, you know, the, the colorful ones that people sell. Um, I was doing those at first, and then I switched to a fitness tracker, and so that's where I was at. And so I ended up doing, like, 31, 32K on that store as well. So, um, And that was, I would say, three four months ago um, maybe five I'm not sure but um, after that I was I was actually in the process of branding a new store right here on my laptop and um, the coronavirus stuff started coming in um, and I was kind of skeptical on like whether I should sell or not and now I kind of have like a, a standpoint of what I'm gonna do so that's where I'm at right now just you know working on the usual branding um, stores and stuff like that switching niches <laughs> um, there's a ton of obstacles like when you're dealing with Shopify and stuff like that what will happen is your ad accounts will sometimes get shut down um, and it's run by Facebook AI, so it's not a person shutting your account down. There's stuff that has to do with your payment processor. So, um, like, for, for example, Stripe is a good payment processor that I was using. On my, my most recent store, I actually got shut down with Stripe because my supplier wasn't providing me with tracking numbers to give to my customer, um, which, that, therefore, I lost the chargeback case. So, um, that's also another downfall. With e-commerce, you can work online, you can work from anywhere, so it's like, why would I want to work in my room? Like, I'm making good money, so um, I just decided to work from somewhere else, and it was, it was a cool experience. And what was that like? Do you think you'll do more traveling and working from all over the world? For sure, for sure. If you're, like me, if you're working off a laptop, you can really travel. Like, if you have Wi-Fi, you're, you're good to work anywhere. Um, so, yeah, I definitely, I kind of just dip my, my toe, my foot in the water. Um, to see how it was over there, but yeah, I definitely want to do a bunch of traveling this year once all this, you know, virus stuff blows over. That's that's kind of what I want to do, so. The key thing with, like, journalism major specifically is that, like, it's so, like, internships and, like, hands-on opportunities are so crucial and, like, are so beneficial. So I think journalism yeah, totally, totally. is the type of major that, like, it's not so much dependent on education, but it's like a perfect mix of education and like a lot of experience, I would say. I was definitely one that was scared in the beginning and I made it out okay. And it does it does get easier and you adjust and you learn, but I think that taking time off or necessarily just choosing to not write like jump right into another four years of education is completely valid and normal and healthy, different. So try to like picture yourself towards the end of your senior year, towards the summer, like what are you gonna really wanna do after you graduate when you're fully done with high school? Specifically like hearing, like you could go to college for journalism and you're also really good at it, helped a lot. When I was a kid, I went from like wanting to be an athletic trainer in the NBA to a sports psychologist, to a sports lawyer to the transcript like it was kind of all this like weave of different 
careers, but sports was always involved. So I think once I found something that mixed, like, what I love most, which is, like, talking about sports, playing sports to some extent, and, like, just talk, like, or just, like, reporting, I guess, at this point on sports, and then also having something that, like, I felt confident in and that I was really passionate about, like, it seemed just kind of like the perfect career. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was a good distraction and gave you a chance to think about possible career paths after high school. Hope to see you next week.